Hey guys, what's going on? It's Oiko Wiko. Welcome back. Uh, look what I have here. I've got the new Nintendo Classic uh, Mini. Um, it was just recently released earlier this month in November. Um, and this thing was pretty hot. I mean, it flew off the shelves. It's pretty cool and all. I mean, it's got, you know, 30 games loaded on it and everything. Um, but I started to wonder if you did not get lucky enough or fortunate enough to get this uh, when it was released, um, and given that the holidays are right around the corner, um, can you just make one yourself using a Raspberry Pi? That's what we are going to do today. So let's go check out the Raspberry Pi, see if we can recreate this bad boy. So this is what you need to create your own retro gaming console. Um, this is the Raspberry Pi mini computer. It's a little computer that is customizable for many other applications, including one popular application, which is making uh, an emulator for old uh, video games. Um, so it's pretty cool because it's only like $35. Uh, this is the latest Raspberry Pi in 2016. It's the Raspberry 3. Um, I like this one because it has a lot of USB slots. It's got an HDMI slot. It also has a uh, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and a quad-core processor. So it's got quite a bit for 35 bucks. Um, the Raspberry Pi is not the only thing you're going to need to get up and running to play video games. You're also going to need a, a micro SD card to load the uh, operating system and the game ROMs. Um, you're going to need an HDMI cable to connect to the TV. Um, and you're also going to need a power supply, uh, which is through a micro USB connection. Um, and optionally, if you want to, you know, you're going to need a case, uh, the case to house the, the Raspberry Pi. Um, and so you may have some of these things already laying around the house already, but I opted to buy a starter kit that included all of the things that I just mentioned. Um, the kit was $60 on Amazon. Um, so your, your cost might be, be actually a little bit lower uh, if you're able to find some things laying around the house and you choose to buy fewer items. Um, but to actually play the games, you'll also need a USB game controller. Uh, I got two of these retro NES controllers on eBay with the USB connectors for $12 for the, for the pair. Now, there are a whole bunch of how-to YouTube videos out there showing you how to turn the Raspberry Pi into a retro gaming console. I'm not going to repeat that. I'm not going to show you a complete how-to, uh, but I will show uh, some links to some of these videos down in the description. So check some of those popular how-to videos out down below in the description. What I will do is I'll highlight some of the things and uh, some of my experiences in building this system. Uh, basically, what I needed to do was install the gaming operating system on the SD card. This system is called RetroPie. Um, once that system was installed on the SD card, I configured uh, some of the settings on the Pi, such as the controller buttons and the Wi-Fi settings. Um, and once Wi-Fi was set up, I then used my home's wireless network to transfer my game ROMs from my PC to the correct ROM folder on the Pi. I rebooted the Pi and voila, I now had access to all the NES games that I could play. It was that easy. So I loaded 60 NES games to start out with, which is twice as many as what you get with the classic uh, mini that was just recently released by Nintendo. Um, and they're all right here at my fingertips ready to play on this console, um, which is pretty cool. I immediately started playing Super Mario Brothers. Um, it's pretty cool and amazing at how responsive the controllers are and how good this emulator is. Everything about this game. Uh, that I remembered as a kid is is all right here, uh, even the warp zones. Um, and so one thing that I wanted to check out here on this Super Mario Brothers game is uh, some of the secrets, some of the tricks, uh, like the infinite extra lives in level 3-1. Remember that one? Uh, yeah, so I went it, I went ahead and checked it out, and sure enough, that, that little trick is still there. Um, and yeah, that is pretty cool. Uh, so there you have it. It's a complete NES retro gaming console, similar to the one that was recently released by Nintendo uh, for about, you know, a little less than $75. And like I said, you could probably get one a little bit cheaper than that if you were to use maybe an older Raspberry Pi or cut back on some of the other things. Uh, the Classic Mini retails for a little less than $60, um, but you only get 30 games, which are not customizable, and you only get one NES controller, which is pretty short. It's less than three feet. In order to really enjoy that console, you'll need another controller and two extension cords, which will easily put that new uh, Classic Mini at over 90 bucks. Uh, so because you can customize the number of games available on this Pi, uh, you have way more than 30 uh, Nintendo uh, games that, that you can include on the Pi. Um, um, you know, like I said, I was able to put 60 games on this pie in under 30 minutes, which was pretty impressive. So I really like this system so far. 
So there's a lot that I like about this Pi platform. Uh, one cool thing about the RetroPie gaming system is that I can load games from other old retro systems such as Super Nintendo and Sega. I plan to do that, um, but I'll need another controller to, to really be able to play those games. Um, I also like the Raspberry Pi 3 has a quad-core processor and built-in Wi-Fi which gives you a lot more freedom and allows you to install other cool packages onto the RetroPie distribution. Uh, like Cody. I was able to get Cody installed and customized to my liking in about 20 minutes. That's pretty cool. So for about the same price as what the Nintendo Classic Mini retails, I was able to create a retro gaming system on the Raspberry Pi that includes more games from more gaming systems such as NES, Super NES, and Sega, and I was able to install Cody to stream some of my favorite programs. I was even able to control Cody with a Nintendo controller. I mean, it was just a win-win-win. So I found this Raspberry Pi to be a pretty cool alternative to the Nintendo Classic Mini. It was really easy to set up and install. I was playing some of my favorite retro NES games in about 30 minutes after unboxing. I hope you find this video helpful and possibly useful as an alternate gift idea for the retro gamer in your family. Thanks for watching.